This is a uh, quick video. Uh, it's a uh, float lock vise there on the drill press, but it's a shout out to Mr. Pete and a thank you. And maybe help other guys out there that are either building their float lock or um, have a float lock vise. A little history, uh, I got this uh, vise from Tom Lipton, my bud. Uh, it uh, was very nice of him to uh, pass it on to me. Uh, there's past videos on it, and there's even a video, uh, April Fool's video, that uh, I purposely drilled into one of the jaws. Of course, I had built a replacement jaw and then drilled into it for April Fool's. Um, but anywho, you can go back and find those in the videos if you if you want. But so I know you guys watch Mr. Pete, and he recently did the float lock vice build. And what got me of interest was this clamp right here. What I've been using in the past was a T-nut. And this piece right here would bite on the T-nut. Well, the problem is you move the, the float lock vise and this T-nut would fall out the back. Plus, I couldn't get the unit off the table also. So, seeing his drawing, or the photo there, I came out with the idea of doing something similar. Well, as I was looking in, at the table here, there was a hole back here, a threaded a hole for a pipe fitting, which would be to drain the table if you were using coolant. Well, I'm never gonna use coolant on the table. So I made a post that went through that hole to attach a piece of half inch plate to attach the, the float lock uh, clamp back here. And I gotta tell you, it's just, I'm so happy. It's just, it works great. The vise can move around the table wherever I need to move it. You can set it up on, on if you set it up on top if you want. The, um, and one of the coolest things for me is that now I can actually park it back off the, almost back off the table. So when I'm not using it, it's off the table. And I can put the one of the Heinrich vices or a mill vice or anything else I want up here. And if I want to use it, it's as simple as is. Uh, it's so long it hits the wall back there. But it's it's as simple as that as getting it out on the table. This one is a uh, quick has a quick latch where you can move it and then it'll come forward also, and it locks in place. Great little vice. But uh, just thought I would uh, show you this, maybe to help other guys that are dealing with uh, issues on their drill press table. And uh, definitely a big shout out and thank you to uh, Tublicane, Mr. Pete, um, for helping me improve uh, my shop usage here by this modification on the tool. Anyway, just a quick one for you guys. Thanks a lot. Just another uh, quick uh, shout out while I'm sh giving uh, compliments. And I mentioned uh, Tom Lipton. Recently he showed adding a handle on the side wheel of the press. Uh, it took me about uh, five minutes. Had the handle off probably an old grinder and uh, just drilled and tapped. And as, Bob, as uh, Tom says, Bob's your uncle. So I thought I'd share that with you too. And then, of course, I still, it's been on my list to do the modifications of adding the uh, holes to put other fixtures in. Just haven't got to that. I've been wanting to do that since I got it. Um, my little guy, it's actually set up where you can actually run a, a dial indicator on it, too, for depth of push. But anyway, thought I'd add that to the uh, thank yous.